Let's take a deeper look into the latest situation in Sudan. We have with us Dr. Mustafa Ali, co-founder and chairman of the Horn International Institute for Strategic Studies. Uh, he joins us via Zoom from Nairobi. Dr. Ali, this seems to have been simmering for the last few weeks. What are the options now for the two military leaders, General Burhan and General Dagalo? General Burhan and uh, General Dagalo will need to come back at, and talk to each other. Remember, they, the two of them are facing the democratic uh, pro-change uh, forces uh, that have been in the streets for a very long time. And what uh, General uh, Burhan and Dagalo have done is to basically uh, uh, negate on everything that has been agreed between the civilian and the military, and in many ways, uh, thrown the whole process into uncertainty. So does this spell doom for the transition journey and the road to a final deal? In the medium term, the transition is dead in the water. It's not going, there will be no talks in the coming days, weeks, even months, until and unless General Burhan and General Dagalo agree to halt the fighting and pull back their troops to the barracks. How about the international community and the backers of the transition talks? How can they help the situation now? They have to push these two generals, Burhan and Dagalo, hard and, and, and use both carrot and sticks to, 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 to ensure that they do not escalate uh, from where this uh, uh, challenge is today. The two have to be pushed to de-escalate. And uh, the West, China, the African Union and IGAD will need to call the two generals to order. All right, Dr. Mustafa Ali, thank you for joining us.